Hi, welcome to this episode. If you are above the age of 40 and you're feeling that your metabolism is slowing down, then this episode is for you. In this episode, I'm going to cover the different things you can do to boost your metabolism. So stay till the end of this episode. This is going to be super valuable for you. So I'm Ruma. I'm a certified fitness trainer. I'm a certified fitness nutritionist and a women's fitness specialist from International Sports and Sciences Academy USA and National Academy of Sports Medicines USA. And in this video, we are going to cover how to boost our metabolism. Right? So let's get started. What is metabolism? Uh, metabolism is nothing, that, uh, nothing other than the different chemical processes, the different life processes that happen in our body and the energy that is needed to sustain those life processes. And what are those processes? Those processes are our respiratory process, you know, the act of breathing. Uh, it needs energy, our endocrine system, the hormones that are working day and night to uh, balance, regulate different processes in our body. So you have our endocrine system, cardiovascular system, heart is beating and that needs energy, right? So, so all of these things that are functioning in our body, the di digestive process, the excretory process, all of these processes that are running in our body needs energy and, the, uh, and that is defined as metabolism. Now, how do we know that the metabolism is slowing down? So now, if the metabolism is slowing down, it indicates that all of these processes are also slowing down. Our respiratory process, our digestive process, our excretory process, our cardiovascular processes, these are slowing down. That is what it really means when we say uh, metabolism is slowing down. And how can we find out? We cannot really go and measure each of these activities inside of our body, right? Then how do we tell that my metabolism is slowing down? Well, there are three or four, three telltale signs of um, signs that indicate the metabolism is slowing down. Number one is we don't feel energetic. You know, we may feel tired and fatigued by end of the day. And that could be, you know, your metabolism slowing down. Or you may find that your weight is increasing no matter how careful you are about your eating. You're not eating a single junk item. You, you are very careful about, um, very, very selective about what goes into your mouth, but still you put on weight is a sign that your metabolism is slowing down. And third may, could be, you know, you feel irritable when our metabolism is slowing down, when the processes are not working correctly, you're fatigued, you also feel irritable. So these are a few signs by which you can tell maybe the metabolism is slowing down. Now, now that you know the signs, is there something that we can do to, uh, to boost the metabolism back up again? And even before that, um, you know, even before we get into that, um, I, I want to talk about few things that kind of impact the metabolism. You know, what are the different parameters on which the metabolism is based? One is age. Um, as, we, uh, as we progress in age, our metabolism slows down, especially, you know, the moment you, you hit 40, you see that uh, there is a lot of fatigue, there is tiredness, and that is not just because the body is slowing down, it is also because of the emotional and the social changes around us. Children are growing, um, aging parents, that also takes a toll, and overall we may feel that we are tired and fatigued by end of the day. Um, you may, f uh, so age is definitely one parameter. Another parameter is gender. Women usually have lesser metabolism than men. So in women, we see this uh, significant drop in metabolism after age, and that is directly related to the amount of muscle mass the uh, women are, uh, are carrying versus men. Women have lesser muscle mass, uh, they have more fat mass, um, and men have more muscle mass. And hence, uh, muscle mass also kind of contributes to the uh, to our metabolism. And hence, women have, in general, have lesser metabolism than men. On the average, I'm saying not all women and men are alike. But in general, um, women have a lower metabolism than men. Uh, the third is our hormonal function. Some of the functions like uh, thyroid, they change the energy balance in our body. Uh, estrogen. Uh, some hormones play a role in impacting our metabolism. So that is another reason why our metabolism slows down. Uh, the fourth one is genetics. Um, you know, how our body, how, what we were 
born with, what, how our genes are coded, will also define how slow or fast our metabolism is. So these are primarily the four things that kind of define how much, uh, you know, what our metabolic rate would be. However, having known this, um, these four factors, is it possible to really boost your metabolism? Say you're a female, you're above the age of 40. Can you really boost your metabolism? Hell yes! It is a good news. Women above the age of 40 can boost their metabolism. Continue to watch the rest of the video because the good part is going to come now. Right? So the, the first way in which you can boost your metabolism, number one, is by exercising. Right? And do the right kind of exercises. Participate in strength building exercises. Strength uh, is imparted by the muscles in our body and if you, uh, if you increase your muscle mass then, um, then uh, your strength will increase and so will your metabolism be. It takes your body much more energy to maintain the muscle mass and hence the, uh, your energy expenditure increases and that results in increase in metabolism as well, right? So do strength training exercises. Second, do interval training. Instead of doing a steady state cardiovascular exercise, for example, running for 30 minutes or, um, or swimming for 30 minutes straight, do it in intervals. Intervals of 20 seconds, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 10 seconds. 20 seconds of high intensity sprint, 10 seconds of rest. 20 seconds of high intensity sprint, 10 seconds of rest. And this is an excellent way of boosting your metabolism. So exercise to boost your metabolism. Second, sleep well. Uh, seven to eight hours of sleep is very, very important for our body to run all the metabolic processes well, to keep all our hormones in balance and maintain a very good, uh, well-oiled machine. Our boy, body is a, very, is a machine. If you look at it as a machine, then our, our job is to keep it well-oiled, right? So sleep, uh, sleep helps you in that process. The next one is hydration. Water is needed in all the metabolic processes in our body, right? So if, if you want to want your body to run well, all the metabolic processes to run well, then two to three liters of water is mandatory through the day. And for every hour of exercise that you do, add another 500 ml of water. So two to three liters of water plus 500 ml of water every hour of your exercise and the last one is eat food with high uh, TEF. The TEF is thermic effect of food and it is usually defined as the amount of energy the body uses to process the food, digest the food and absorb the food in your body. And which are the food with high thermic uh, effect of food, high TEF, which will help you in boosting your metabolism and they would be chilies. Uh, the green chilies, the capsicums, all uh, the green capsicum, the red capsicum, the yellow capsicum, um, then uh, green tea, uh, green tea and black coffee that has shown to uh, boost your metabolism. Do not have coffee, do not overdo on coffee, just once a day black coffee is more than enough to boost your metabolism because coffee has other negative effects in your body as well. Uh, the another is ginger, ginger has, uh, add ginger to your food. Uh, it is. Uh, it will also help you in boosting metabolism. So, so the four strategies that you are going to use is exercise, strength training, and interval training. Sleep seven to eight hours a day. Uh, proper hydration, two to th uh, two to three liters of water plus five hundred ml for every hour of workout. And the number four is have food with high TEF. Try this out and let me know if this helped you in boosting your metabolism. Uh, I hope you found this video valuable and if you did, uh, please do not forget to subscribe to our channel because I am going to bring you more and more value every week. Until the next episode, stay fit, stay healthy, stay happy.